Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a haul video for you. It feels so good to do a haul video after my no buy August. I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing a bunch of haul videos over the next week. Uh, I have my Sephora beauty appreciation sale event haul definitely coming up. I even purchased some other things online. So I thought I would kick it off with a haul from Cicely Paris. I stopped by the Saks counter to actually purchase their new La Rouge lipsticks and they had a whole tester display up, but they didn't actually have any to sell. But I went ahead and did plenty of damage otherwise, mainly skincare, a couple of makeup products. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased at Cicely Paris, then just keep on watching. All right, so first up is the volumizing spray from the Hair Ritual line. And I have their uh, scalp serum, which you guys know I love, that appeared, I believe, in my last month's um, favorites. I still use it every single day. I'm getting dangerously low, so I'm definitely gonna have to repurchase that. But they just came out with this volumizing spray. So I thought I would go ahead and pick it up. My hair is definitely in need of some volume, and I haven't even opened this yet. But I'll go ahead and read the back of the box here. It says, a light and airy hair care and styling product for an immediate volumizing effect. Delicately scented formula concentrated in plant-based active ingredients with texturizing and volumizing properties. Instantly supports the hair from the roots and provides texture and density for a long-lasting lifting effect. And then it says, day after day, hair is stronger and more resilient. Apply to damp hair before blow drying and styling. So I don't think this is just a um, styling product, if you will. I think this is actually like a hair care product. It is supposed to, I was talking to the um, my sales associate at the counter, and it is supposed to help strengthen your hair as well. So I figured that definitely can't hurt, especially now that I'm getting older. So here's what the bottle looks like. I'm curious what they mean by the scent though. Let's go ahead and... Oh, just smell this. Very, very light, very fresh, very Sicily, kind of spa-like or whatever. So I'm excited to give this a shot. I will definitely report back to you. I also got a few things for the body. Um, I was chatting with the uh, regional manager there at Sicily, and she was talking about how she uses this because she travels a lot. Obviously, she's the regional manager. She travels a lot, and she likes to use this particular product to help with circulation in her legs. And I had never really had that problem. Like, I never really had my ankle swell or my feet kind of blowed up when I flew. It just never really happened to me until the last two flights I've been on. And I thought, oh, is this another thing that's gonna happen now that I'm getting older? Apparently, yes. So when she mentioned that this helped with circulation, she does it when she rubs it into her legs before and after the flight. So this is the white ginger contouring oil for legs. Uh, it's supposed to help tone your legs. I've actually used it uh, once already on my legs just cause I have really like my uh, lower leg below my knee. The skin on my legs are is so dry, like so, so dry, especially the front of my shins super super dry so anyway I've been using it for that but I am excited to use this kind of before and after my flights and see if it kind of helps with that bloating um, it says apply morning or evening from the ankles to the top of the legs and hips I've just been kind of doing it so far um, below my knees and the back of the box says that it's a beauty oil for legs with white ginger extract immediately sensations of discomfort are soothed skin is softer smoother more toned day after day legs feel lighter apply morning or evening from the ankles to the top of legs and hips so hopefully this will alleviate or at least help with that um, kind of bloating that I get when I fly now because that is incredibly uncomfortable like I was wearing sneakers like I usually do and they were I don't know my shoes just felt really really tight when I got off the plane very uncomfortable so hopefully this will help and then I also picked up the Sicilier anti-aging concentrate firming body care and I think I was expressing like I you know, I kind of have like large boobs. They're not gigantic, but they're they're pretty big. And I, I generally sleep on my side. So I started noticing like I was getting those like cleavage lines and they'll go away by, you know, mid morning, lunchtime or whatever, but they're definitely becoming more and more prominent. And I think they're definitely like more and more slow to go away. So I was expressing that concern uh, to the ladies at the Sicily counter and they suggested a lot of things, but when they were talking about this, this uh, firming body care, they were talking about how this actually is, it helps firm, it helps lift. And ha so it's great for like the cleavage area. It's also great for like, like the top of your breasts. They said, don't put it on your breast because it is supposed to kind of firm and tone, which in essence is like shrinking. And I was like, I don't mind actually if my boobs shrink a little bit, but they were like, don't put it on your boob. You know, I also said like, you know, the, the skin like right above your elbows, the skin right above your knees. I'm like, I feel like that's starting to look a little 
like a little bit older. They said it was great for that. So I decided to try it. It comes in this gigantic tub. There is 5.2 ounces, so 150 milliliters. And it's a very, very thick cream. And they were like, just use a little bit. So I plan on just using it like cleavage above my elbows, above my knees, and see if there's any other place that I need it, maybe like right under my butt. That could always use a little firming and toning. So we'll see how that works. Again, I will report back on all of these things. You know, with skincare, it takes a little while, but I will get back to you. And then I picked up two makeup products. So as you guys know, I love the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint, which is being discontinued. And if you guys haven't noticed, you will start to notice that it is showing like out of stock in a lot of colors. And you'll also notice that like, it'll say back ordered, no expected ship date, like things like that. Anyway, they're definitely phasing that out. And so I've been on this hunt to kind of find a replacement for it. So I thought I would try the tinted sunscreen from Sicily. I have it in the color one natural. It has an SPF 30. I thought that this could be like maybe a decent substitute I think it is quite different though. It is very, very richly pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Where the La Mer is very light coverage, it's very creamy. I feel like I can kind of like put a lot on and it doesn't really look cakey or it doesn't look like I have too much makeup on, where I feel like that would happen with this. So I have to be a little bit more careful with this, but I think that this could work well. So I think I'm gonna do like a full day wear test with this so you guys can see how this looks on my face. But I'm excited to give this a shot. And then I also picked up, this is brand new from uh, Sicily. This is their Stilo Lumiere, the Instant Radiance Booster Pen. And this, oh, I didn't even show you what this tinted sunscreen looks like. Not like the bottle's exciting or anything, but it comes in a squeezy tube and it has like a flip top lid. This little bottle looks very small, but it actually has more than one ounce. It has 1.3 fluid ounces. It's 40 milliliter. So that's what the tinted sunscreen looks like. And then here's the Stilo Lumiere. So I got it in the color two, Peach Rose. And here is the pen, and it's one of those spongy tips. It's rounded, unlike the Charlotte Tilbury, which kind of comes to a point, and then you just turn to click. So um, maybe what I'll do is like a full day wear test of these two things together, see how they work. And then I did actually purchase some skincare for my face. I got the um, Sisley Black Rose Precious Face Oil. I don't know what possessed me. I still have my La Mer Renewal Oil. Uh, not a maybe quarter of the way done. But anyway, this was something I've been wanting to get. So I picked this up along with the Black Rose Cream Mask. I have a bunch of these in the little tester size and I take them when I travel or whatever. Anyway, I thought it was high time to get the actual <laughs> real size of this. So this is the Black Rose Cream Mask. This is a wonderful, wonderful mask. I don't know if you guys have tried this yet, but it really is. I mean, it says that it's um, instant youth, smoothing, plumping, and brightening. It is instantly plumping. That's like the first thing I want to say that I noticed when I use this. So I'll exfoliate my skin and then I'll treat it with the mask, something like this. And like instantly I'll see my skin really like the fine lines will disappear. It's really amazing. Really, really amazing. So anyway, love this black rose cream mask. So I also picked up the floral spray mist. It feels so, so good on the skin. It's one that's like aerosol and it's in this kind of metal can. So the spray that comes out is very, very cooling. If feels amazing and it has what does it say a combination of extracts of rose cornflower and witch hazel to soothe soften and refresh skin and it's alcohol free so I just love this I love that I feel like I've given my skin like this boost of moisture but I don't feel like I'm too wet. I, that's sort of my issue with a lot of uh, facial sprays, especially after I've put my makeup on. If I'm not using a setting spray, sometimes I'll just use like a mist like this. And sometimes it just ends up looking really wet and I feel like I've ruined my makeup a little bit. This does not do that. I sprayed it actually on my face uh, before and it just feels so, so good. The mist, because this is like, like an aerosol is so fine and it's so even. And when I use this, I really feel like I'm able to actually kind of like moisturize my skin. Even with like all this makeup on, I feel like this really penetrates and like really moisturizes my skin. So I've been really liking this. That's the floral spray mist. And that's it. That's my haul from Sisley Paris. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will definitely get back to you on all of these products, probably in a couple months, just to let you know how, especially the body products have worked and this like hair volumizing spray. I'm very curious about this. Um, and I will definitely do like a full day wear test featuring these two products so that you guys can see them in action. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.